Hi everybody, it's Devin here at Predatory Plants. Got a species spotlight today for you on uh, Nepenthes fusca, which is a very variable species. Uh, and as such, I've gotten three clones together that we have to show off some of the variation in this, uh, in this species. It is a solid intermediate grower from Borneo. So the uh, range usually caps out around 2,500 meters or 8,000 feet, which is just kind of the lower bounds of highland. Um, and in Sarawak state, it's been found all the way down at 300 meters or about 1,000 feet. But usually it's more like 1,200 to 2,500 meters, which is solid intermediate territory, which makes it a particularly good windowsill plant because a lot of people have sort of intermediate conditions in their homes. Uh, it is in the Nepenthes maxima complex, so you know, maxima, Clausii, uh, all these other ones, Chaniana. Uh, but the closest relatives to Nepenthes fusca are uh, like Nepenthes platycaila and, um, uh, and also Nepenthes like stenophylla and a few other ones like that. Um, one of the things you notice about Nepenthes fusca is the leaf shape. So uh, these have different leaf shapes, but you can see, generally speaking, there's sort of a narrow attachment. Um, they each have that uh, to the stem, and there's some, some amount of sort of like rounding off or flattening off near the tendril. Uh, this clone, this is the flared parasome clone, is the most dramatic. It's kind of like a spade shape. Um, and then this looks, you can see the affinity to Nepenthes boschiana and the leaf shape here. Uh, and then the, this clone here has the least dramatic leaf shape, but uh, they all kind of get that. That's a distinctively Nepenthes fusca thing. Another thing that's very uh, classic in Nepenthes fusca is the lid, which is super narrow in most cases. So you've got that, uh, kind of a triangular lid is, is most classic. Um, with sort of a, a, a ruffly, frilly uh, margin. That's, that's classic Nepenthes fusca, and that's one of the ways you can distinguish it from other of its related species. So like I said, we've got three clones here. Um, first up, this is the flared peristome clone from Borneo Exotics. Uh, it's still pretty small, but you can see it does have a nice flared peristome, uh, kind of striped, sort of a speckled pitcher body. Um, and this is the one that had the nicest leaf shape, I think. Oops, there we go. This is a uh, fancy, this is a breeding plant of ours. It's a female that's produced a number of offspring. They haven't come up for sale yet, but uh, look for them at the end of 2018. We've got a lot of uh, fancy by tibiae, so that should be coming up sometime this year, I hope. Um, we got this from a private grower, so we don't know its exact origins, but it's a very small, kind of a delicate uh, plant that uh, vines a lot. This isn't our breeding plant. We've got a big vining, bushy one. This is just some cuttings we took a bit ago. Uh, but my favorite form here is from this, is the Nepenthes fusca from Sarawak that has been distributed both by Borneo Exotics and Malaysiana Tropicals. Um, it's got this great reddish color. Uh, you can see this one's kind of a, a light red, but that's a newer picture. If you look back here on one of the older pictures, it's got, it darkens into a very nice dark red and orange coloration on the picture. A nice dramatic uh, lid shape, which everybody likes in the Nepenthes fusca. But the reason that I really like it is the leaf uh, attachment and stem is this fantastic bright red color. Ooh. Okay, there you go. It's this bright red color um, that uh, just shows up like nothing else. Um, it, it adds great color to your, your collection, even if it's not picturing or if the pictures are kind of small. It's got a nice midrib on it. And uh, like I said, this is kind of the paddle-shaped leaves like you see on Nepenthes boschiana. So, a uh, really great plant. Like I said, I have actually the Sarawak clone growing on my windowsill at home, and it does just fine. It's kind of a bulletproof plant, uh, so it's highly recommended for beginners who want to get into a species that's, I guess, a little more challenging than Ventricosa, but still, like, very friendly and, and tolerant of a wide range of conditions. Um, Fusca is quite, great, quite good. Um, I don't think we have any for sale right now, but hopefully uh, we will again soon. And, of course, like I said, we've got Fancy over here, this very delicate uh, Nepenthes fusca that's got some offspring coming up in the next year. So, um, excited about that. Excited to maybe flower this Fusca Sarawak and see uh, what go what's going on with that. Um, but, uh, so that's Nepenthes Fusca. It's a fun intermediate plant from Borneo. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and uh, remember to like and subscribe to see more species spotlights and other videos like this.